tunipatia hii fursa niongee mtaguza mambo mawili matatu na Mr Speaker through your indulgence next time don't bring in the intoxicated the egregious intoxicated people in the, on the floor <laughs> kindly let the bunge standing orders be observed but i'm the speaker you are the speaker yeah. and you also must be guided i know you are perpetual you are suimoto and you are sui generis can you speak in this way asante kitu ya kwanza kitu ya kwanza mimi thank you mimi kwa majina mimi naitwa the legitimate and the consummate paradigm shifter osea hasan please mr kanga mr kanga give me allowance to to use wisdom you are empty to scar yeah i apologize mr speaker kitu ya kwanza ah things fall apart to begin with things fall apart by by chenua achebe chini wa achebe in his book chenua achebe in his book and i see a war is looking at me kakafuria sir chenua achebe kwa kitabu yake things fall apart kuna jamaa alijiita eneke the birds and eneke the birds say since men have learned to shoot without missing the birds have learned to fly without patching mr speaker what am i saying i'm saying this before april on 16th on 14th 1966 oginga jaramogi oginga odinga you call it oginga you call him oginga odinga me i call him adonija revisit your footnotes of books anaitwa adonija Adonija Oginga Odinga na this thing was in paper Mr Speaker recently ilikuwa kwa gazeti ya last week kwa nini Kenyatta alimiliate Oginga Odinga number one and the major reason why Kenyatta and the imperialists the oligarchs of power humiliated Oginga Odinga was one reason because he was a communist ana alijenga ruaraka hapa hii kiwanja ya ruaraka Oginga Odinga alijenga statue ya Patrice Emery Limumba who was assassinated in 1961 in Congo. And that's why the imperialist was against Oginga Odinga knowing that Oginga Odinga will bring in the policy of communism and socialism in Kenya and the capitalists are against it. That is number one. Kenyatta the former president the, the former president Aliita Mukutano Naivasha in 1966. Na hii mkutano ilikuwa ina, ina uh, Kenyatta akiita mkutano wa cabinet na all the state, stakeholders of the government Tom Boya being the political advisor of Kenyatta advised Kenyatta that for you to neutralize Oginga Odinga on the ground geuka all the provinces wakuwa na representative only the name of vice president at Kenyatta did so to neutralize Oginga Odinga and to humiliate Oginga Odinga in his own government. Oginga Odinga had a powerful advisor, political yeah. advisor, and I to Pio Pinto Gama. Pio Pinto Gama advised Bunge Power. Bunge Viva. Oginga Odinga and uh, Pio Pinto Gama advised Oginga Odinga that the idea of putting the representative only the name of vice president in all the eight provinces in Kenya is the idea Kenyatta is humiliating you what you need to do resign and bold out imagine on 14 April 1966 Oginga Odinga did a resignation letter Mr Speaker I'm saying this without fear of contradiction that if the hypotonic hypotonic zombie Brigadi Gachagua a novice an unkempt novice can do a chivalrous thing he ought to have resigned before the egregious humiliation that is facing against the wrong regime which they were in which they were coronated ritually there was no election in Kenya in, in, in the year 2022 All what we witnessed all what we witnessed all what we witnessed with the speaker was a pure ritual coronation I neither support William Ruto because he's a crook 
Nor do I support Rigadi Kachuagwa. Both of them are crooks. I cannot support them. But to say this, Mr. Speaker, as a matter of one minute. Rigadi Gachagua never uh, apolo uh, he never apologized to William Samoy Ruto. Neither did he apologize to our MPs or Kenyans as a whole. Because he used the word if. If you are grammatically upright, the word if and when are what we call conditional clause, supposition. If you did your grammar right. So, regarding a Jaguar was, was not apologetic to Kenyans. But I'm saying this, Mr. Speaker, and he wind up my point because I can see Mr. Speaker is really agitated. But let me tell you this, Kenyans. What we are witnessing is what we call every institution has been weaponized by the rock regime, the so called William Samoy Ruto. And that's why Rigadi Gachagua is being humiliated. But there was what you call, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with your indulgent, I beg for you two minutes or one minute. One minute, my boy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will observe that. I will strictly observe that one minute. <laughs> Mr. Please. <laughs> Order! Order! Mr. Speaker! 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 We all agree that information is power. And if, and if you, are, you have the information, you are powerful. This is an information. This is an information. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Okanga, you are a senior member in the, the floor. Please give me ample time to continue. Mr. Speaker, I'm saying this. Okanga, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this cannot amount to interpersonal or whatever exchange of words, Mr. Okanga. You are a senior member, Soka Songa, you are a senior member. Please give me ample time and give me an opportunity to wind up. Mr. Speaker, as I wind up quickly, and thank you for your added two minutes, Mr. Speaker. I'm saying this without fear of contradiction, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Kenya Tunangalia Sai in Kenya. Rigadi Gachago should not waste his time going to the Senate. Because William Root has already weaponized the, the Senate. And it's only a matter of time Senate is going to sign for the impeachment, as the, 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 the MP did in the National Assembly. And he should not also rely on court. Because William, there are zombies in court. And I'm telling you, there are zombies in court. Court also has been weaponized by a rogue regime. And if Rigaji rely on court so much, because he will go to high court, then eventually will go to court of appeal, then it will result to Supreme Court. And Supreme Court is being controlled by William Samoy Ruto. So it's only, it's only a matter of time, Mr. Speaker, that Rigaji Gachago will be shown the door and is heading back to his backyard. But what I will advise Rigaji Gachago, it's high time, a bold out, honorably, he go and galvanize his troops, Organize and strategize well to attack William Samoy Ruto. With those few remarks, Mr. Speaker, I end my point. Thank you all. Thank you for your.